if the early amateur title cards don't uh, get the message across, if the words on the one don't get the message across, let me tell you this is a thoroughly amateur production. I'm a sitting at my desk in my living room using the webcam on my laptop, which is, I think I got it in 2017, so it's several years old. I don't have fancy cameras. I don't have any of the nice production facilities that a lot of people do. And I'm not complaining about them having them. I'm glad they do. Uh, it's bourbon night, uh, stuff and whiskey, um, various others that are slipping my mind just now. A beautiful bourbon. Uh, you know, they've got good setup, and I like what they turn out. I just don't have it, can't afford it, wouldn't know how to operate it if I did have it. But I want to do a video today. I had planned to do several, and, and circumstances have worked out to where this is probably the only one I'm going to be able to do. I try to keep several weeks ahead, because otherwise it, it could get to be a problem. But what I want to do today, in, in for the what are, uh, for the whiskey basics uh, playlist on my channel, I'm having trouble coming up with words that are perfectly ordinary words. Uh, I want to do a, do the question: What are whiskey snobs, and how do you deal with them? Randy Sullivan of uh, Bourbon Real Talk calls them whiskey trolls, but Years ago, when I was starting to listen to jazz, I ran into what they called wh uh, jazz snobs. You know, the, this kind of jazz is the best, and if you don't listen to this kind of jazz or this artist or what have you, then you just ain't a real jazz fan. And to an extent, I, I can understand that. I like country music, too. And there's some stuff floating around here under the country moniker that, that if Hank Williams was country, that stuff isn't. But I took that term over when I started drinking whiskey and, and, and came up with whiskey snobs. And these are people who are pretty much like the jazz snobs. If you don't like what they like, then they don't want nothing to do with you. They think you're stupid. They think you're ignorant. They, they look down on you. And they, they wouldn't put it that way, I understand. You know, nobody's going to say, well, you're stupid and ignorant because you like this. And you're an ignorant idiot because you don't like that. They're not saying it that way. I'm boiling down what they do say into its basics. And I know this because I've been on the receiving end. There's a guy on MeWe in the uh, Whiskey and Whiskey group. And it's just the two different spellings of whiskey. You can't tell the difference when you hear it. But the Irish spelling that most people use in the States has an E. The Scottish spelling does not have an E. It, either way, it's whiskey, right? But this guy in the Whiskey and Whiskey group has blocked me because I persist in liking Balconis whiskey. That's whiskey from Balconis Distilling in Waco, Texas. And I just last night run across a, a channel called One Whiskey One, excuse me, not One Whiskey, Whiskey One. And it's a guy who's right here in Albuquerque, and he likes Balconis, so I'm not the only one. And Diageo bought Balconis Distilling last year, and that tells you something. Diageo is one of the, I think it's about half a dozen giant international uh, alcohol conglomerates and if they bought Balconis then they think they're doing something right over in Waco but how do you deal with these people how do you deal with people who get upset at you or think ill of you if you don't like what they like just do what you like who cares what somebody else says? If somebody don't like the way I dress, I don't change the way I dress because of it. If somebody don't like Texas, tough toenails, that's his problem. I'm still a Texan, and I'm going to be. If somebody doesn't like my taste in biscuits and gravy, I'm sorry for him. 
I don't govern my life by what somebody else thinks I ought to do. There are very few people whose opinions I, I really go by. One is my wife. <clears throat> and that doesn't mean that whatever she thinks I automatically go with either. We discuss things. Sometimes we have argued about things. But I give heed to what she has to say. And there's my boss at work. You know, she knows how she wants me to do the job. I pay attention to that. You know, there's a uniform shirt I wear. I wear it. But when I'm off the clock, if she doesn't like my boots and, and I'm just making things up, she has never said a word and I don't think she cares. But if she doesn't like my boots, I'm off the clock, tough toenails, I'm wearing my boots. You know, if somebody doesn't like the shirt I wear, tough toenails, I'm the one who has to be happy about it. When it comes to whiskey, you have to please you. It's your palate. It's your experience. It's your likes and dislikes. Don't go by fashion. Don't go by what other people tell you. Coming back to Balconis, because it's such a good example. If you find out you like Balconis Texas Pot Steel Bourbon, drink it. And if every other person you know doesn't like it, go ahead and drink it. And feel sorry for them for not understanding what a wonderful whiskey it is. Other people cannot make up your mind for you. Other people cannot live your life for you. You have to decide what you like, what you want, how much you can afford to spend, all that sort of thing. And you run into the whiskey snobs. If they're not going to change their minds and let you do go your way in peace, then just ignore them. It's just that simple. Live your life and let them live theirs. And if they don't want to let you live your life, then ignore them. That's all there is to it. And that's that for this video. I never know how to end them. Like I say, I am thoroughly amateur. I'm just going to hit the button here and that'll stop recording.